Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It's me, Dill Pickle, and today I'll be showing you how you can make the potion, the splash potion of weakness. But before I start the video, please subscribe, it's free, and it would really help me out. To make the splash potion of weakness, you're going to need to collect these items here in my inventory. So the first thing you're going to need is some redstone, well, you can add that, uh, we'll talk about that later, but you're going to need three uh, glass blocks. Uh, one sugar cane, one brown mushroom, some gunpowder, uh, a spider eye, and I forgot, but blaze, uh, a blaze rod, one single blaze rod. And uh, you're also going to need a brewing stand, of course, a crafting table, and some uh, kind of water source. Unless you already have uh, three uh, glass bottles, then you're not going to need this glass. Uh, but otherwise, you're still going to need the crafting table and the brewing stand. So first let's talk about um, what you need to craft. So the first thing you should craft is your glass bottles, of course. And to do that, you're just going to place your glass blocks in a pattern like this, and you're gonna get three glass bottles. That's the first thing you need to craft. And the second thing is you need to turn this blaze rod into blaze powder. To do that, you just place the blaze rod in the crafting table, and you get two pieces of blaze powder. Now, the next thing is you're going to need to craft the sugar cane into sugar. So we just put that on the crafting table, and we get some sugar. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to need to make a fermented spider eye. So it looks like this, as you can see here. And to do that, we're going to need to place our spider eye, our brown mushroom. It does not work with any other mushroom, not the red mushroom. You have to use the brown mushroom. And some sugar. And we get our fermented spider eye. It doesn't matter what pattern you place it in, just as long as you have these three items, we get our fermented spider eye. So there you go. And now uh, you're going to put all these things together in the brewing stand. Now to make the brewing stand, you're going to need some kind of cobblestone, whatever kind of stone it is, any of these, but cobblestone is the easiest to get, and a blaze rod. That's how you get your brewing sand, or you can find it from a nearby village. You can also get those from there. So, uh, we're just going to fill up our bottles here. I'm in creative, so that's not going to work, but I can get one bottle. So, I'm going to put these bottles in the uh, brewing stand, just like so. And uh, we didn't talk about this blaze powder yet, but... What we're going to need to do is place the blaze powder that we made into this area right here. It's like a fuel for the brewing sand. So I place that uh, blaze powder in there. And so we've got our fuel going. Now the first thing we need to do is place our fermented spider eye right up here. And that's going to make these uh, no effects, these regular old bottles of water into our potions of weakness. Now, what we want is a splash potion of weakness, and we'll talk about how to do that in a second. Uh, but after this fermented spider eye is done, to make the last uh, the effect last longer, see this is only a minute and 30, to make the effect last longer, we can add some redstone dust if you have that. You don't have to add this, but you can if you want to, to make it 4 minutes instead of 1 minute 30. As you can see, the weakness here says 1 minute 30, but... This redstone will make it four minutes. So you can add that if you'd like. And uh, right now, it's just a normal potion of weakness. So to make that potion of weakness a splash potion of weakness, we're going to add our last item, which is gunpowder. We're going to put that up here in the top. And that is going to make our splash potion of weakness, one that you can throw and it sort of uh, gives off an explosion. And these Splash Potions of Weakness are super useful when curing a villager. Uh, so you're just going to need to use one of those with a golden apple. And you can cure a villager. And turn it back from a zombie villager. So here we go. We have our Splash Potions of Weakness. Super cool. Super awesome. We can throw it and they explode. Just like that. So uh, that's, that's about it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed, please subscribe. That's all I ask. It's free, and it would really help me out. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.